Hi guys and welcome back to a library of books and daydreams. So today I'm here with an August wrap up and a September TBR. I actually managed to read quite a lot of books in August. Weirdly it was my best month this year for reading, um, which was really cool. I don't really know how it happened. I think maybe coming out of reading a big series like Throne of Glass I ended up just reading some easier to read shorter books and I just smashed through them really quickly. So today I'm going to let you know the 10 books that I read in August. So I don't have copies of all of these books actually with me right now so some of them will appear on the screen just here and that will be the same for the first one which was Lot by Brian Washington. I read this as part of a blog tour and I really found it really interesting. It followed the son of a black mother and Latino father and he was basically finding out and discovering that he was gay and it was about his experiences growing up. But the interesting thing about this book is it included stories from around the lot where they lived which I found really interesting. I found it hard to follow in places but I thought it was quite a cool concept and I did really enjoy it and I sped through it within a couple of days. The next book I read was Loveless by Alice Oseman. Although this book in parts was problematic, I absolutely loved it so much and I thought it was amazing and I gave it five stars. I think it was definitely my favourite read of August and this is definitely my favourite book of Alice Oseman so far. The only one I have left now is Radio Silence and I would really love to read it soon. The next book I read was Far From Perfect by Holly Smale. I didn't know how we would get on with this book as I have never actually read any of Holly Smale's books and this is the second in a series. However, I was part of the blog tour for it and I thought I would just give it a go and I ended up really enjoying it. Um, this is about a girl who is struggling with fame. I think she's about 16 and it's just about her experiences in family life, in relationships and friendships. And although it was problematic in places, it really kept me hooked and I read it within like 24 hours, I couldn't put it down. The next book I read on NetGalley, I had a Kindle copy of this, but I also picked up the paperback copy after I finished it because I loved it so much. And this was The Black Kids by Christina Hammonds Reed. I absolutely love this book. It felt so relevant even though it's set in 1992 and I think that is just such an important thing to bear in mind. If you have the chance to read this, so it's about Ashley who's from quite a privileged background and she doesn't realise what her fellow black classmates are facing and the black community is facing in LA where she lives until the police beat a black man and she is then kind of, she opens her eyes to what the black community is facing around her. I found this really eye-opening and interesting and I, I just loved it, I think it's something that everybody should read. I will talk to you about the next three books together as I also read the Grisha trilogy. I have been meaning to read this for so long and I absolutely loved it. I read the first book in about a day and I read the second book over a couple of days and the third one took me slightly longer but I still got through it super quick once I got into it. I really enjoyed this series. There is a big part of me that wishes I had read it before reading um, her other books that I've read, most of her other books if not all of her other books apart from the Grisha trilogy so I definitely read things backwards but I still really enjoyed these books and I'm really glad I read them. The next one I read was Nick and Charlie also by Alice Osman. So this is about Nick and Charlie when Nick is preparing to go to university and Charlie is struggling with the thought of being left behind. So this is actually set after Heartstopper is currently up to so it does spoil the fact that they stay together although as I already know this because I've read some of our like side comics that have been done and I'll set after um, Heartstopper is currently at. I didn't mind reading this when I read it and I absolutely loved it. It made me cry. I love Nick and Charlie so much. So thank you, Alice Oseman. And they look so amazing with the other copies. And I decided to finish off the month with a few verse books. So I was really unsure about reading verse because I haven't read verse for years and when I did, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, and I was a little unsure about it, but I picked up Run Rebel, this is an art copy, um, that I got through work, and I absolutely loved it. I thought this was such an amazing book. It is about Amber, who is in an abusive home life, so her father is abusive to both, to, to her mother, and it's basically about them trying to get out, and it's also about her running, which I found really cool, as I've been running for about six months now, and I really related to how she felt as a runner and it's also about her kind of expecting to have an arranged marriage and how she feels about that and her sister is in an arranged marriage so 
it was so amazing and there's a lot about relationships, family relationships. I would then passed it on to my mom to read and she absolutely loved it too, which I thought was really nice. So it is sad but also full of hope and I loved it so much. And the last book I read in August was Clap When You Land. I loved this book. Again, it is a verse book and I was unsure how I would feel about reading verse but I definitely got into it, I think verse can be written so well and these two books really opened my eyes to that and I really enjoyed this so much. It is about two sisters who don't know their sisters until their dad passes away and one lives in the Dominican Republic and one lives in New York and it's about both of their stories coming to terms with their dad's death and the fact that they actually have a sister living halfway across the world. It's absolutely beautiful and I loved it and it's heartbreaking but so beautifully written. And it's now time for my September TBR, which is basically just to read the next three Noughts and Crosses books. I set myself a bit of a challenge to read five series by the end of the year, so I read the Grish trilogy in August and I wanted to read this one in September. Um, my boyfriend helped pick the series that I could read in September. I read Noughts and Crosses last year, I just never carried on with the series. I have the next three but I don't own Crossfire right now so I'm going to read these and then decide whether to buy Crossfire or not. Um, I am almost at the end of Knife Edge right now and I'm enjoying it quite a lot so basically other than this I'm gonna just read what I want. I might have a little secret way of ticking my TBR which I might make another video about soon. Um, but at the moment these are the only ones that I definitely want to read in September. So that was my August wrap up and September TBR. I know there's been quite a lot of books on here, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop it a like, comment if you enjoyed this video, maybe subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!